everybody. Um, today I am going to show you a little bit about extensions. Um, I am talking bonded keratin extensions. These are She by SoCap. Um, I'm certified in them. I have a lot of experience in extensions. Bonded She by SoCap, um, Halo Couture, which is temporary. Um, uh, SoCap tapins and Halo tapins. Um, so I have a lot of experience in extensions and I love them. Um, I specifically have a hair type that does very well with extensions, whether they are clip-in, halo, um, bonded, or tape. I have worn all of them and incorporated them into my life, and I absolutely love wearing extensions. So, they can be part of a short hair routine or maintenance look. They can be part of long hair. Um, they can add colors. Um, I've worn baby pink. I've put it in for highlights. Um, I've put them in for low lights. I've put them in for length. I've put them in for volume in certain areas, filling in holes, um, growing out bangs. You can, you can stick a tape in right here and completely blend the line between your bang and your hair. I've done that. Um, you can wear them just for special occasions. They're great for updos, especially clip-ins. Um, wedding day, um, postpartum hair loss. I mean, I just love extensions. So I have lots of experience and I just want to share with you. So what I'm doing today, I just colored my hair. So just for the hair people, let me, um, give you what I did. Um, so this is the length of my hair right now. And this is where I'm going to be filling in. And as you can see, it looks like I have angles and it looks like I've like thinned all this away. I have not. That is my natural hair texture. And these pieces of hair never grow in long and straight, ever. So what happens is my hair right here, my length, comes from the back um, and it keeps going and going and going. And but this always stays the same. So what ends up happening is, I just probably cut about this much off, is I end up with this long stringy back hair, which is very common by the way. A lot of people have very sparse fine hair from their ear up to their apex. See, this is all the hair I have there. And all of my hair is in the back of my head, okay? So for people like that, putting extensions right in this front part on the sides, can give you um, volume and fullness right here. Um, I have worn them with a lob or a bob because it gives that very defined corner in the front and a lot of people need that weight for the haircut and their hair just won't naturally do it. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do today but with long hair. And so for my color, I just did a quick maintenance. I mean, this was super quick. I did three foils right here through my bangs and then I did one foil behind my bangs, okay? So that foil connected all the way down right here and brightened this up. So I get this face frame lightness and it breaks up my bangs, okay? So four foils in the mohawk. And then I did one foil along my hairline right here. As you can see, these little tiny pieces um, I hit with a foil, okay? Actually, I think when I split it, you can see it really well, there it is one foil around my hairline because I do wear my hair up a lot and I like to have a little bit of softness right there. Okay, whatever was um, between a foil, I put on base color. Um, I used the chromatics, the Redken chromatics, which is the ammonia-free oil-based color line, which I love, it's very gentle. And this brown that I used is 5AB and 7AB equal parts with 10 volume. Now I use 10 volume on myself because I don't have gray hair, so I don't need um, the permanent hair color. But for me, a gloss or a glaze or a shades EQ or something washes out too quickly. So I use a 10 volume because I get an, a tiny little bit of lift, um, but it's mostly deposit and um, it holds a little bit longer. With 20 volume, what I, when I use it on myself after about a week, or any exposure to like hot water, sun, beach, anything, or heat, um, it turns brassy. 
So this is a hint cooler and darker than I would normally wear it. But like I said, within one week or about two showers or two shampoos, this will be absolutely perfect. It will look a totally different color. Um, so if I went lighter or if I used 20 volume, I would it would turn orangey. So I painted um, everything that was behind this foil just in the front. So you can see right there, I went behind the foil, painted my roots just to the middle of my hair. I did nothing in the back. Everything that's happening back here is old. Um, I'm letting my old that I'm letting my natural color grow in, especially back there, because my hair is about this dark. And um, I painted the base color in between the foils up here to about the top of my head. And especially through the bangs, whatever was between the foils, I pulled it all the way through. So you can see I kind of have like these pieces of depth coming through. And they do fade very quickly, but that's the only way that I can cancel out um, the orangey brassy tones and make everything look cohesive. So that's what I just did with my color. Um, so my hair is freshly super, super clean. As you can see, it's like floating all over the place. Um, and now I'm gonna put in some bonded extensions. So I'm gonna be using a couple of these light colors. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to incorporate this one blonde on either side, I may. But I wanna talk a little bit about color matching and then I'm actually gonna do it. So I'm gonna show you. So color matching, you um, always wanna match the ends of your hair. Now, not every person is going to have such an extreme difference between their roots and their ends. But right now in color trends, it's very um, in style to have lighter ends and darker roots. It's a more ma uh, lower maintenance, more natural look. It's like a balayage, this type of dark um, rooted color to like an old sun kiss kind of color. This is kind of what's trendy in style right now. So as you can see, if you take the ends of my hair and you put them next to my roots, they're totally different colors quite an extreme difference. So if you were to match the root, right? Here's a perfect match. And I'm gonna put these inside, but if you put them in, here's where it's coming out. You can see that doesn't match at all. So where you wanna match is your ends. So here is a lighter color. Sorry, the TV is on in the background. I know you can probably hear it, but my son is up there just a little distracted while I film this. Um, and so see how this blends? And it's gonna be going in here, okay? So it's gonna look like a highlight like that. But yes, you will see the bond, okay? But it's going to blend down here and make sense. The only way to avoid that is to buy or create a balayaged extension, meaning you could put it in like this and then once they're in, with bonded, you can color over the bond. Um, you would go back in with a gloss and you would blend out that root and you would make it match the rest of the, the tone in your hair. Or you can buy a balayaged extension which has a dark root which goes to a light end, which would mimic the actual color that's going on in your hair. So um, that's how you match. You always match down here. If I was gonna be adding them to the back of my hair, I would go a little bit darker, right? A little lighter in the front. And a really good colorist will actually, if you were doing like a full head or you were doing them for length, you would match to the actual piece that you're pulling out. So if this was, let's say, a dark piece that went dark all the way down, then you would customize it with a dark extension. And then maybe you would grab an actual highlight like this and you would blend that and put a blonde extension. So when it's all down, everything looks completely matching and cohesive. Um, you should never know that someone has extensions. And over the years, people have said, oh, you have great hair, or like they look at a picture and I say, oh, that's not my hair. I mean, it's completely enhanced with extensions and they never know it because they're good extensions. So if they're good quality and they're applied right and they're put in the right spots, you should never be able to say, oh, that person's wearing extensions because those are bad extensions. Good extensions always look natural. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put about five on each side, just in this front part, because I wanna fill in this hole. Do you see that? 
See that hole? That naturally occurs for me. These pieces never grow. So um, here's my machine. This is the She by SoCat machine. And basically, this is what you do. Um, you are going to separate where you want it to go. Now see, it's not really too bad right there. These pieces kind of grow, so I'm gonna go up a little bit higher. A good way to find where the hair lives when you wanna fill it, okay, so let's say I want an extension right here. I'm gonna just grab the piece of hair next to it, pull on it, and go, you can go up, right? And see, that's where it lives. So this is where I wanna put my extensions because when they fall, this is where they're gonna hang, okay? So that's a little trick. But I'm gonna go a little bit higher. So kind of just separate this out. You can see that is where it starts to, to get um, thinner. So if I was doing this on a client, what I would do is I would isolate the hair like perfectly and I would put it into a little guard and then I would clamp this on with a little protective piece and then I would, you know, do it really great, but because I'm doing it on myself and I'm at my house and I'm only doing a couple, I'm just gonna kinda like wing it. I'm not really gonna isolate too much, but I'm gonna hold the hair where I think it needs to go. And I think I actually need to take you over to the mirror because I need to get a better look at this. So let me put you right here. Cause now I have the mirror in front of me. So at least I can find where it's going to go. Okay. So the, actually you can tell a lot better. See where this, this is where it needs to go. I'm going to kind of line up the extension, like where it needs to be bonded and then hold it and see that's going to make a big difference. So let me go back over to my machine. I'm not doing, oh, I should get a mirror. I'm not doing this to the quality and level that I would doing, be doing it at the salon, but I'm doing it to myself. So I just wanted you guys to see how the process looks. And then these are long. I think these extensions are probably like 16 or 20, maybe they're, maybe they're 20 inches. Um, and I'm going to have to trim it. Let me just get my mirror set up here. All right. So, so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to take this little bond. I'm going to Squeeze it with my tool and melt the bond and then wrap it around my hair like this. So these stay in your hair for about 90 days and there it is, see? Um, you have to have a professional remove them. There is a special solution that will break down this bond and there's a special tool that will like slide it right out, okay? So there is one keratin bond. And that's what it looks like. Okay, now let me take down my hair. And you can see that's just the beginning. See that one? It's just the beginning of filling in that hole. So if I add like three or four more, it's gonna start filling in right here. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um. While I'm doing this, let me talk a little bit about the pricing. So generally, um, when you have these done, you would pay for a look. It's not usually piece by piece because it could be anywhere from 75 to 100 to, um, 200 plus 
actual bonds in your hair. So it's very hard for your stylist to know ahead of time exactly how many you're going to need and to be able to count them when she's putting them in or he's putting them in. I mean, that is just really hard to do. So you generally will pay for a full look. And personally, if I was doing it, I mean, so you start, when you go to the salon, you start with a wash and blow dry because you wanna put these in your hair when, when it's freshly very clean because you're gonna get the best result that way. So you don't wanna have any product. You also want your hair to be straight. So even if you don't wear your hair straight, putting the extensions into your hair straight is gonna be very important because um, the placement to complement your haircut and give you exactly what you want um, is gonna be easier to see when it's straight. So your stylist is going to probably blow your hair out straight or flat iron it straight. And then they have to cut it to, to match your, um, your haircut and then possibly style it for you. So if you're talking about a whole head of extensions, you're looking basically at the whole day, like a six hour appointment, maybe more. Um, and they're not gonna count each one. They're not gonna charge you per piece. They're gonna charge you per look. Okay, so there's two. And as you can see, it's already starting to fill in that hole. See? So let me put, I'm just gonna um, finish doing this side on camera. <laughs> so you can hear my son in the background. Gosh, that makes such a difference. I don't know if you guys can tell, but that once I cut these, I mean, it just makes such a difference. Um, but if you're doing them on the side, like how I'm doing it with just these little pieces, individuals, maybe like four or five on each side, then your stylist may charge you per piece. That's what I would do. Um, a full look. If you're gonna spend all day with all the extensions, you're you're looking at about two or three thousand dollars. Um, that would be completely normal pricing for this. Um, if you're doing these little individuals, I would probably say about ten dollars per strand. So if you're putting five on each side you're talking about like a hundred bucks. For three months, they stay in, and then you need to go back to your hairdresser and have them taken out properly, or sooner if they start to grow away from your scalp and they start pulling on your hair, they need to come out because the hair from your head naturally sheds. And when they um, are attached, like I'm doing right now, the, act, the number of hairs that are inside the bond is maybe like 10 or 15, and then there's like 10 or 15 or 20 um, ha actual hairs on the extension, which your hair is supporting equally. So like 10 to 15 of your hairs are holding up like 20 or 20 something hairs on the, on the extension. But as your head sheds the natural hair, the bond is holding onto it. So your natural hair now is holding 30 plus pieces that are stuck inside the bond, but it's only affixed to your head attached with like two or three hairs. So what's gonna happen? That bond full of old shed hair plus the fake hair is gonna tug on those three or four hairs that are still holding it because they should, it should have been taken out before. So if you leave the, and imagine that happening all over your head 200 times. So if you leave your extensions in for too long and you don't have them taken out at right at that window where the amount of hairs that have shed are out are outnumbering the number of hairs attaching it to your head, that's when you're gonna experience real damage and hair loss. Um, and I'm sure you've all heard from people who've had extensions, especially bonded, that they took them out and half their hair was gone. Well, yes, if you left them in your hair for six months and they're an inch and a half grown away from your scalp and there's three hairs holding 30 hairs 200 times around your head, yes, you are going to suffer hair loss. So,
be on top of it, pay attention. And you can see these bonds are nice and very close to my head right now and tight. As they grow away from my head, when it gets to about an inch or so, like a, a true inch, that's about when they should come out. And so go to your stylist and be responsible and pay to have them taken out. Don't try to take them out yourself. You're gonna ruin your hair. And, um, you know, just stay on top of it. Okay. Do you see what that did? So it's distracting because this is long, but I'm gonna cut that. See, filled it right in. So that is what I'm gonna do on the other side. And like I said, for about $100, and how quick was that? Now my hair is already clean and flown out, but a wash, a fresh haircut, you don't wanna be blending extensions into dead ends. A wash, a style, and a fresh haircut, and then putting these in um, can be a couple hundred bucks. And do you see the major difference that's happening there? It's filling in that hole, um, and my hair is gonna look longer once I cut that. Um, so that's bonded extensions, and I hope you guys learned something from this. Don't be afraid of extensions, they're amazing. Um, and just consult with a stylist who knows what they're doing, um, because it can really enhance your look. So I'll see you in my next video. Thanks.